The town of Moon's Hire was in for a treat on the darkest night of the year. Every May 31st, the town celebrated this night that was known as the Night of Terror. It was said to be the spookiest night ever, where ghosts and ghouls ran rampant in the streets, terrifying the locals and setting the town in a state of pandemonium. Alice was curious about this mysterious night, so she decided to find out what all the fuss was about. She had heard scary stories of ghosts and monsters that haunted the town, and she wasn't sure she believed them. She grabbed a flashlight and went out into the night, determined to get to the bottom of this. Alice was walking down the street when she heard a strange noise coming from one of the houses. She stopped in her tracks and shined her flashlight through the window. To her shock, she saw what looked like a ghostly figure, eerily hovering around the room. The figure seemed to be looking for something, but Alice couldn't tell what. Alice quickly ran back to her house, her heart pounding in her chest. She was sure she had seen a ghost, and now she was certain that the rumors of the night of terror were true. When the morning came, Alice was relieved to leave the darkness of the night behind. But the experience stayed with her, and she could not forget the eerie feeling she had had when she encountered the ghostly figure. Alice was left wondering what had been so important to the ghost that it was searching for on the spookiest night ever. Maybe someday she would find out the answer. It was the darkest and most horrific night that the small town of Springtown had ever seen. Nobody dared to venture out after sunset, for it was the night of ghosts and ghouls, of witches and warlocks, of shrieks and cackles. The superstitious townsfolk refused to set a foot outside their door, believing that the monsters would be lurking in the shadows, waiting to pounce on them at any given moment. They believed that no matter how hard they locked the doors, the ghosts of the night would find a way. That night was so creepy that even the bravest of souls felt the chill in their hearts. The only sound that could be heard was the eerie sound of wind howling and a distant voice calling out in the darkness. Then, it happened. A figure appeared at the edge of town. It was a woman, shrouded in a long black cloak, her face hidden beneath a hood. She didn't make a sound as she slowly moved through the streets, her every step marked with an ominous thud. The townsfolk watched in terror as the figure drew near, until eventually she reached the center of town. She stood there for a moment, before finally uttering a single sentence, the night is coming. At that moment, all the fear, the superstition and the terror the townsfolk had felt suddenly dissipated. For they knew, that the spookiest night ever was finally over. It was the night of Halloween, a night filled with mystery and dread. As the night grew darker and darker, a chill ran down the spine of every person in the vicinity and something seemed to be a bit off. Every breath seemed to fill the air with a kind of tension that made it almost impossible to breathe. Suddenly, in the dead of the night, a mysterious figure popped up from under the ground, cloaked in a voluminous black cape. Its eerie presence sent a wave of uneasiness throughout the area. Everyone around froze, too scared to make a sound. The spirit slowly walked around the settlement, staring at each of the villagers with an icy gaze. Every soul was terror-stricken and not a single person dared to move a muscle. Then, without warning, the apparition disappeared into the dark night. After that night, the people of the area lived in fear, barely able to talk about what they had seen. Everyone had a different interpretation of what had happened that spookiest night ever. But no one could deny that something strange and terrible had arrived on Halloween night. The haunting figure may have gone, but the villagers never felt the same way again, always aware of the ghostly being that lurked in the shadows of their minds. Was it a ghost? A witch? A devil? No one had the answer, and so the spooky night and its mysterious figure remain a mystery to this day.